Are you personally dealing with histamine intolerance or do you wonder what does histamine have to do with my symptoms? Maybe histamine is the problem. Well, in this video, we're going to dive into all about histamine, what it does, and some solutions to keep histamine at bay and the symptoms of histamine. Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Amber and today we're going to be talking all about histamine intolerance. So let's talk about ways to reduce histamine intolerance or reduce histamine in general. The first one I'm going to bring up is really something that everyone can do. And this is just working on your stress response. And so that can be things like yoga or Tai Chi, stretching, breath work, EFT, meditation, anything that brings that nervous system back down. That is amazing for helping with immune function. There's some incredible studies on meditation and the power of it to help normalize immune function. It's amazing. And then focus on what you can eat while avoiding some of those high histamine foods. So for many people, that's cutting out alcohol, right? Because that's a huge histamine bomb right there. And then cheeses and other fermented foods as well. So avoiding that kombucha at the grocery store, finding other things, teas or things that don't trigger histamine that you can have and enjoy, right? I'm going to put a link in the description of this video, which gives you my goodbye histamine protocol, not medical advice, but just to show you a sample of what somebody could do to really help with histamine levels. And in there, there is a foods high in histamine to avoid PDF for you, complimentary. It's totally free. And I will put a free PDF in the description. It's on full script. It's just an attachment that you can get for free, just listing all of those high histamine foods, as well as a sample protocol for how to reduce histamine. The next thing is you can test your genetics. So you could test that DAO, that HNMT, and really see where those are at. You could add in DAO. That's one of the things that's a possible option to help. Some people that really helps, other people don't notice much. But DAO is a supplement that's widely available over the counter. Many people haven't heard of it, so that's why I'm mentioning it. And then you have all your natural antihistamines. And the reason that we'd want to use these natural antihistamines as opposed to a lot of the medications like Benadryl, we talked about Benadryl and some of these antihistamines can actually provoke histamine issues long term. We know that many of these common anticholinergic drugs like Benadryl have actually been linked to cognitive decline, right? So there's some incredible studies, I'll link to them in the description of the video that have shown increased risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, neurocognitive decline with the use of these common antihistamine medications. So while they can be used short term to provide relief of symptoms, they really are not a long-term solution. They will age the brain. So that's where the diet, lifestyle, a lot of the other things, adding in these nutrients that keep histamine lower, natural antihistamines come in really helpful. My top three favorite antihistamines are nettles, right? Stinging nettle is an herb that's really, really good for reducing histamine. Vitamin C, which I'll link to my favorite vitamin C powder. It's a, it tastes like a, a cocktail with the no alcohol, but it's a powder that you mix in water. And then the third one is quercetin. So quercetin is an amazing mast cell stabilizer. So it's going to help prevent those mast cells from degranulating and releasing tons of histamine. Some other natural antihistamines are dandelion tea or lemon balm tea. I love, 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 love lemon balm. As well as some foods like apples, cruciferous vegetables are really good, right? Apples have that pectin as well. That's a binder. And then nutrients like curcumin and reishi are also really, really good here. They're natural antihistamines. So they're things that are put on planet Earth for us to help with keeping histamine at bay. And now for the fun part all of our peptides that help to reduce histamine. And by far, my number one choice here for keeping histamine at bay with peptides is a peptide called KPV. And this is a tripeptide, meaning there's three amino acids connected together to make this peptide. It comes in a capsule form, KPV, as well as an oral spray. That's what I have available on my uh, website, I'll post the link below if you're curious. We know that KPV can stabilize some of the inflammation from cytokines or those really inflammatory molecules, as well as it can stabilize mast cells. 
too, and that's why I really love it. Thymus and beta-4 is the other peptide, uh, or TB4 frag, as it is found in the capsule. It's just segments one through four of thymus and beta, which are the anti-inflammatory fragments, right? Those four amino acids. And so we can use that also as well to stabilize mast cells. That really great combo is adding in KPV, thymus and beta-4, and then this third peptide called BPC-157. A beautiful blend. I'll share a little graphic of why those three are so amazing together. So this is often used as a combination therapy, and you can see all the benefits from chronic infections, the histamine issues, autoimmunity, allergies, right? Really beneficial for stabilizing immune function, effective antimicrobials, antifungal. If you have candida overgrowth, it can help in mold and toxin exposure, right? So there's so many benefits. Helps with mitochondrial dysfunction, as well as eye inflammation, dry eye, a lot of these inflammatory conditions, these three peptides really are complementary. And so they can be taken together. You can start with one or two of them and layer the third one in. I do this frequently. I find this blend also really helpful in MCAS or mast cell activation syndrome, which is really what we're talking about with histamine and mast cells releasing tons of histamine. Mast cell activation syndrome is a lot more severe version of this histamine overload that we're talking about. But this combo has been really helpful. Anecdotally, had a lot of feedback from clients, patients that this has helped and helped with gut issues, inflammatory issues, rashes, a lot of these histamine overload symptoms are improved. This last peptide I'm going to talk about really helps with stabilizing immune function. I think about it as supportive for immune modulation, which is really the goal. We don't want to overstimulate the immune system. And we definitely don't want to suppress it. So immune modulation is the gold standard for whenever we have pathogens, EBV, Lyme, you know, candida, the whole list of, of pathogens there. And we want to help the immune system to cope with that load, as well as high histamine levels. Any sort of immune modulator can be helpful here. Thymus and alpha-1 can help with stabilizing that histamine production, and it really just regulates inflammation. So we were thinking about white blood cell production, like the eosinophils and the basophils producing this histamine. It can help with that response. There is a capsule version that's called Thymogen Alpha, produced by Integrative Peptides. I'll link to that in the description. It's a very helpful place to start because the thymid thymosin alpha peptide injectable version is really difficult to access at this point. So capsule or there's another peptide that's a similar peptide to thymosin alpha that can be used called thymulin. What are some of the symptoms of elevated histamine or histamine intolerance? Issues, well, difficulty sleeping because histamine keeps the brain awake, hypertension, dizziness, or vertigo, migraines are a huge one, or just chronic headaches in general. Histamine is a huge trigger for migraines. And that can often happen in a woman's cycle when the estrogen is elevated, likely before her cycle begins, then the histamine gets elevated, and then we get the trigger of migraines. Cramps, hives, or that flushing sensation. So if you have a glass of wine and your cheeks get all flushed and red, that's usually a histamine response. Anxiety is a big one, right? Because histamine can really stimulate the brain. Fatigue is another one as well as heart rate being quickened, a faster heart rate. Uh, sometimes if you eat a food your body doesn't like, do you ever notice after you eat a meal that your heart rate elevates quite a bit, even if you're not doing an activity? So pay attention to that if you have a fitness tracker, an aura ring or a Fitbit or an Apple Watch that will tell you if your heart rate elevates. That could be that histamine response actually happening after a meal. Of course, the sinus discomfort, including sneezing, congestion, runny nose, those are usually histamine symptoms. Asthma, right? So labored breathing, wheezing, those are also symptoms, as well as nausea and vomiting. At its extreme, histamine can trigger that. The big ones here, when I think about histamine intolerance, issues associated with histamine, I really do think about difficulty sleeping, itchy skin, rashes, hives, getting flushing feeling, when you're stressed or after eating a meal, those are the big ones. Or an anxiety is a big one too. That's anxiety is often dismissed and not thought of as an, a high histamine symptom, but it can be. I hope you have found this video so helpful, so insightful. 
as far as histamine, symptoms, solutions, peptides, things in the world of natural medicine that can really help here. And please like and share this with somebody. If you found it informative, if there was anything in here that you pulled away and felt like, wow, that was new information to me. Again, so grateful you are tuning into the channel. And if there's any ideas, comments, experiences with histamine, have you used KPV? Have you heard of KPV? or thymosin beta-4, or tb 4 frag these peptides, definitely let me know in the chat, and let me know if you have any future video ideas, copy to incorporate those. This is the Peptide Doc, and I'll see you in the next video.